Hello everyone, my name is Sharice Pendleton and thank you for tuning in to VTV. And today I have the pleasure to be sitting with South Ward Alderman Willis Thompson. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? I'm good. Are you enjoying the transition in the weather? I am. It's very pleasant outside. Okay. Looking forward to doing a lot of things outdoors and indoors. It's just, it's just good weather for a lot of different things. What's your favorite thing to do outside? Uh, play a little basketball when I can, if not. You know, it's always a good time to start up a barbecue, yeah. so, yeah. Okay. All right, so you've been in this position for about three and a half years, correct? Yes, I've been serving in this position since July 2013, and before that, um, I served over 12 years with the city of Pittsburgh. Okay, so how do you feel about this opportunity? Well, uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to serve the citizens of Vicksburg. It gives me the opportunity to uh, be a part of a, a positive change, to represent the interests of the constituents of Vicksburg and, and, and offer new ideas on um, to take things to a different level. So uh, I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity to learn more about people, learn more about myself and be a part of a great board that's, that's moving forward and doing some positive things in the community. So what do you see as your three greatest strengths? My three greatest strengths, um, I'm a good listener. I think um, it's always important to, to probably listen more than we speak. That way we can um, get a better understanding of things going on and, and be in a better position to um, make better decisions when we do have a better understanding. Uh, I'm attentive to detail. Uh, I like to, uh, I'm always fact finding. I like to um, increase my knowledge in a lot of different areas. Uh, in other words, do my homework. Uh, and I'm a genuine person. I, I genuinely care about the things that I'm working on. I care about people and whatever I put my energy to, uh, I give it my best effort at all times. So as humans, we all make mistakes. So when you discover you have made one, how do you um, how do you handle it? Well, I try to counter that. Uh, going back to what I said earlier about about doing my homework and making sure that I um, I'm in a position to to make the best decisions possible by you know doing the fact finding and doing my research. Uh, uh, in other words, when people say knowing what you're talking about. Uh, that way and listening uh, when you mix those elements together I think you put yourself in a better um, position to make better decisions uh, when you know what you're doing and know why you're doing it um, and you understand who you're doing it for I think you put yourself in a better uh, position to, to, to minimize uh, mistakes and, and when you do make a mistake I think you um, do all you can to try to rectify whatever that you did. I know sometimes in this line of work, it's not so much as making a mistake, it's that people may not always agree with your position on things. So that's why it's so important to do your homework, um, get gather your facts, and so you can better give an uh, answer to why you have the position that you have and why you're doing what you're doing. When people see that, I think they can respect your position better. They may not always agree, but I think you have to be in a position where you can, in good conscience, make the best decision. Um, and I think you will minimize on mistakes. So what are your biggest personal goals and career goals? Um, well, on a personal level, I always strive to be the best person I can be. Um, spiritually, try to be the man that God wants me to be and be the best um, husband and father. I could possibly be and, and set a good example, uh, especially for my children. Uh, speaking of your family, how do you balance your personal life, your family life, and as well as your job life? How do you how do you find a, a, a common balance between the three? Well, uh, that's a um, that could be difficult sometimes because each one requires a lot of time. You know, um, it takes time to. to do the things that the job requires because you are dealing with uh, mainly with people, uh, with your constituents and, and being at different events and, and traveling, being places where you can 
really advocate for Vicksburg and, and, and doing all I can to equip myself to be in a better alderman, uh, to become more knowledgeable and be more sensitive to the needs of, of Vicksburg. And and, um, and the same thing with with uh, with careers, same thing, always taking the time to try to better yourself and um, increase your knowledge and with family, it speaks for itself. It, it just the greatest thing you can give your family is your time. So, um, so I'm always conscious of that. Uh, growing up, uh, my father worked a lot, so I, I understand the uh, constraints of, of, on one hand, trying to be a, a provider, on the other hand, trying to have your presence known, uh, which means the most, uh, just being around. And uh, we're invited to a lot of things, a lot of things that, that, that you pull at, but uh, I'm always conscious of that. And, um, I try to um, schedule well, you know, uh, when I know about things ahead of time, I try to plan to, to be at different places. I'm very conscious not to try to be at everything because I do have a family and I'm very conscious of that and, and sometimes uh, it, it causes me to make a choice and, and, and my first priority is my family and I think when you make priorities and, and, and stick with those priorities, it, it makes uh, balancing those things a lot easier. Not saying that it, that it won't be difficult and, and a decision sometimes is not hard, but uh, family, you know, you only get one shot at it. I never met anybody on their deathbed that wished they had to work more. It's always, I uh, wish I had to spend more time with my family. So. Uh, as much as possible, I'm conscious of that and trying to make sure that they're my top priority. Still on your family, what is one thing that you enjoy doing with your family when you're not at work? Oh, um, not at work, just family time, just uh, being at home. Like I say, we, we barbecue sometimes, we just hang out, you know. Um, I mean, we're sports fans, uh, watching a good football game or watching their um, wrestling pay-per-view with my young kids, just, uh, just just spending that time, you know, uh, it don't have to be something structured all the time, but just, just being together. And I think the older I get and the older I get, the older they get, I, I kind of appreciate that a lot more. How do you typically prepare for all your meetings? Um, when the deadline uh, has passed to add things to the agenda, uh, I take the agenda and I go over everything's on the agenda. Uh, normally, the supporting documents are there, and I uh, ask any questions that need to be asked. I go over um, the entire agenda, and if there's something that uh, I got questioned about, I contact the necessary, you know, personnel, and just gather my thoughts together. And um, the morning of the meeting, just go over the agenda again, and. and uh, just be prepared to give a response or give my position on whatever item that I think needs to be addressed. Some things are just straightforward, uh, routine things like paying checks and document, paying bills and other things may require a little more discussion because um, one of the things I learned is that um, it's always important as a uh, public figure to make your position known on things. Some things are a little more controversial than others. and. And I think the people you represent appreciate it when they understand what you did and why. Okay, so just we're going to dig just a little bit personal. Just tell me, where did you grow up and what schools did you attend? Okay, I grew up in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. Um, I went to high school there and got my diploma. Uh, went on to Heinz Community College in Utica and got an associate's degree in computer programming. Uh, went on to Jackson State University, got a bachelor's degree in computer science and a master's degree in business administration. So what do you love most about Vicksburg? Um, I moved to Vicksburg looking for just opportunity, probably my second year of college. And uh, I just saw it as a community with a lot of potential. It's um, not too big, but it's not too small. It's a um, close-knit community. It's a great place to raise a family. Uh, and it has a lot of potential. Uh, Vicksburg is a very historical city. Uh, it's a tourist city. Um, and it's a city where there's a lot of interest in. Uh, so a lot of people want to be a part of Vicksburg.
And um, those are some of the things that uh, I love about, you know, living in Vicksburg and raising a family in Vicksburg and making the investment that I have made in the city of Vicksburg. If you could have any superpower for a day, what would it be and why? Oh, uh, any superpower. Probably if I could control time. I don't know if that's a superpower or so many things that you could, can't get done in a day. If I could stop and start time at my, um, at, at my leisure, um, I think a lot of things can get done. So um, I don't know if you call it a superpower, but that is something important that none of us have possession of. So if I could control time, that would be a great power for me. Yeah, I think everybody want to have, have a little bit more time yeah, yeah, <laughs> throughout the day. Okay. Absolutely. So what is one thing that makes you happy? Um, family time. Yeah. Just coming down and just being around people that want to be around me, you know. Um, you don't owe anybody anything. Everything's genuine. It just, that's some of the best times. Are you satisfied with what you have accomplished in life this far? I am very grateful. And I'm a very goal-oriented person. Uh, and I think I have accomplished a lot. Uh, and I look forward to accomplishing a lot more things. So, uh, I am grateful for the opportunity that God has given me to, to achieve the things that I have and have the will to want to continue to achieve more things. And, and I just think we can achieve anything we put our minds to. Sometimes it's a different route to, to, to get there. It's not the same for everybody, but I think if you're putting an effort into it and doing what it takes, I think you can go wherever you want to go in life. All right, if you would like to find out more about our Alderman, be sure to visit the city's website at vicksburg.org. Also, make sure you follow our Facebook page at BTV Vicksburg, Mississippi. I thank you so much for watching. I'm Sharice Pendleton, and I'll see you soon.